Since I was a little kid, I always wanted to be a doctor. I didn't even really think that it was possible for people to be artists. But then I was always drawing. And I recognized that I could draw. I had been looking for ways to talk about what had happened in Rwanda uh, during the genocide of 1994. I started like, thinking, oh, I'm going to do these images of portraying these child victims that I remember shortly after the war when we went back. And then I started thinking, wow, this actually could be a thing. I didn't set out to be an artist, but it just sort of found me in a certain kind of way. My name is Duhir Gravishemeza and I'm originally from Rwanda. I live in Harlem, and I'm a painter sculptor. And these are my works. You know, when you look at this work, there's different ways that you're gonna read it, depending on, you know, where you're coming from. The viewer is very much an accomplice. When you're looking at the work, you give it the final read, so to speak. One of the things I really wanted to do was like to think about what was Rwanda before the war, like this identity that for me is like really quite negative. It's really important to move forward. And for me, my moving forward is looking way back. I look at these almost really a lot as like a post-colonial uh, conversation because a lot of them have been inspired by these buildings that I saw on the coast of uh, Côte d'Ivoire when I lived in Abidjan. Going and seeing these once pride of the colonial power that were just like disintegrating. It left an impression in my mind about that relationship between um, what existed um, during that colonial power and what is here and who is taking ownership of these of these buildings and um, but a lot of times they've just they, you know they've been abandoned but I found them really quite beautiful.